to Tricky TV. My name is Stephen Mulhern. And do you know why I love magic and playing tricks? Because it can make people do this. Wow! Yeah. And this. <gasps> oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. People always want to know how to do the tricks. Well, on Tricky TV, you will often get to find out. <laughs> On today's show, we attempt some daring escapology underwater. We meet up with Jack Osborne and shock him with some amazing money magic. And we attempt to make a whole garden shed vanish. And then we'll show you how it's done. Another first rate show on its way. But now, have a look at this coin. It's a real coin and I'm going to make it vanish, OK? All you have to do is watch. 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 <laughs> I'm only kidding. OK, here we go. Cover up the glass, and then cover up the 50p. Keep your eye on the 50, OK? There we are. A snap, and the 50p should go without me even touching the glass like that. It disappears. And now, we're going to make it return. Here we go. Cast a shadow over the gar. And the 50p returns as quick as that. This trick makes people go crazy. What's your name? Jack. Good to see you, Jack. How's Jill? <laughs> the 50p has now gone. Wow. wow! Will you take the napkin off? <laughs> How did you do that? Whoa, I need to do that. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! Wow! Wow! Yeah! It can make your bogeys disappear from your nose. Go on, give it a blow. Ah! <laughs> well, that's a good trick. Have you worked out how to do it yet? Well, later I'll show you, and then you'll be part of the secret circle. Do you know, as a gift, you can keep that napkin. I have come along to Underwater World in Hastings because Tricky is just about to get decidedly fishy. Oh, yes, it is. Now, we've asked some of the staff members to give us a fish tank with no fish and no water. We've also asked for a fish tank that has no fish but does have loads and loads of water. You'll see why in just a second, because this is today's big trick. And do you know what? I think it's going to blow your mind. Now, I've brought an audience along just to prove that we're not going to use any camera tricks at all, and they're just here. Hello, all, you right? Yeah! <laughs> and they're nice and loud as well, which is always good. Now, I do need one of you to help me out, and I think we're going to use... What's your name? Zara. Zara. How come you're not dressed like anybody else? Because I'm here helping him. Oh, OK, cool. Will you help me as well? Yeah. You'll be fine. Come on. You'll be fine. Don't look so nervous. We're dressed the same version. We could just be a double act. Um, look, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to get inside the tank, all right? And you see those chains down there? If you could pick those up for me, that would be brilliant. OK, I want you to chain me up. So um, just take this end and put one chain either side of my wrist. That's it, brilliant. And make it really tight. The tighter the better. That's it. You're very nervous, aren't you? You're gonna be you're gonna <laughs> fine. This is good. Have you ever done anything like this before? <laughs> You'll be all right. That's really good. Okay, and do the other end as well. That's it. So now both hands will be chained. That's it, put the padlock through. Great stuff. That's it, in it goes. Lovely, perfect. Okay, now what's going to happen now is I'm going to get inside the box. I want you to close the lid for me and padlock here and here. The padlocks are just down there, all right? That's it, so close the lid. Perfect stuff. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Thank you. Right, okay, take the padlock and the one on there. That's it. Target. There we go, lovely. And the other side. This is good. This one's definitely secure. So this one. Okay, perfect. And now finally, what I need you to do is just take the curtain around and just hook it on the padlocks. Okay. Okay? 
Then the magic will happen. That's perfect. Now, sorry, you should see there's another cloth on the floor. If you could pick that up for me, that would be brilliant. And now just, just, if you could get up on top of the box as well, literally out on the very top. There you go, perfect. You're doing really well, Sarah. Just stand up straight, carefully as you go. Okay, hold the cloth out in front, a tiny bit higher for me. And now something's gonna happen, Zara. Yeah! Oh, ho, ho. how quick was that? Now, you may be wondering where Zara is. Well, Zara is where I started, in the tank. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you what, I feel really bad, actually. You're right in there. You look as confused as I do. Look, I'm going to get you out. I feel a bit bad, actually, leaving Zara inside the box. So, here we go. Go! She's gone! Hey! Now I'm going to bring her back. And this, you're not going to believe. You ready? Here we go. Watch this! Zara, come back! Tricky. Remember, this was a trick. Never get inside a tank of water and certainly don't tie yourself up. with the one and only Jack Osborne. How are you doing? I'm very well. How are you doing, Stephen? Very good indeed. Thank good. you so much for taking part in Tricky. That's quite all right. And invite us to your home. Hey, it's, you know. This is lovely. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> now, if you don't know who Jack Osborne is, where have you been all your life? Will you just tell them who your dad is? Uh, Ozzy Osborne. Ozzy Osborne. OK. Yeah. If that's not good enough, tell them who your mum is. I'm Sharon Osborne. <laughs> Sharon Osborne from The X Factor and band manager. And tell them who your sister is. Kelly Osborne. <laughs> The whole family are just dead famous. It's brilliant. <laughs> and he's on Tricky TV. This is so cool. OK, um, you don't just live in uh, England. You've also got a house, or even houses, in America. Yeah. Um, and we've asked you to give us an American coin. Yes. Do you have one? I actually have a, uh, a quarter here. A quarter. 25 cents. Lovely stuff. OK, have a little look at this. Very important. All right. Now, have a little look at this. You never need to go to a money exchange ever again if you can do Magic Jack, because, look, all you do is you rub and the quarter will change into a 2p coin. OK. <laughs> now, stunned silence from Jack. Check it out. Have a little look at it. All right? Now, what we're going to do with this, Jack, hopefully you're going to be very impressed with. Uh, hold up both your hands flat for me, good man. Um, I'm going to take the coin. All right, watch it closely. This is going to blow your mind, hopefully. Watch. I'm going to take the coin. It's going to go up my arm, down my shoulders, inside this hand. But um, it's not that impressive if I do it, but now you're going to do it. OK. OK? Just close both hands. Watch, here we go. The coin goes up your arm, down your shoulders, down your back, inside this hand. But before you open it, Jack, slowly open this one. OK, and slowly open this one. Look. See, sometimes it gets trapped. OK. Yeah. Uh, especially if you're wearing a watch. Just uh, turn your hand over for me, Jack. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Take it out for me, Jack. Make sure it's the 2p. Is it that? There you go. That is the 2P. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Jack Osborne on Tricky TV. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told you this, but it's one thing I really can't stand, and that is gardening. That's why I'm going to try and make all the tools inside this garden shed 
completely disappear. Do you think I can do it? Well, let's find out. Keep your eye on the shed. Watch. If this does work, there'll be no more digging, no more weeding, and no more mowing the lawn. Especially if I make the whole shed completely vanish. How cool is that trick? And do you know something? If you would like to know how we did it, then join me back here in a minute, and I'll tell you. Also coming up on Tricky TV, an amazing car trick. Find out why the crowd can never find the lady in Beat the Cheat. Meet another star of the future. This is Michael and he does wicked magic. Plus, we'll be letting you in on the secret of the vanishing coin so you can do the trick too. Welcome back. Now, just a moment ago, you saw me cure my hatred of gardening by making this garden shed completely disappear. Now, what I'm going to do is lift up this cloth and you're going to see the trick from a totally different angle. What you saw wasn't a whole shed at all. It was just one side built onto a van. As I raised the cloth, Matt the driver simply drove off. I think you'll agree, it's a great trick, isn't it? Thanks, Matt. Now, what did... Matt! I need a lift! We got together some of the best young magicians in the world. They practice hard. They are determined. They have unique skills, but they are united by one common aim, to be top tricksters. Today, meet Michael. Now this is called a pom-pom stick. It's called a pom-pom stick for two reasons. One, it's a stick. The other, it's got one, two, three, four pom-poms on it. A white pom-pom, a red pom-pom, a purple pom-pom, and a green pom-pom. Now, when you pull the red pom-pom, the purple pom goes up. When you push the red pom-pom, the purple pom goes down. When you pull the purple pom-pom, the purple pom goes up. When you pull the green pom-pom, the purple pom goes up. When you push the green pom-pom, the purple pom goes down. When you pull the red pom-pom, the purple pom goes up. And when you push the red pom-pom, the purple pom goes down. Any questions? <coughs> no? Now, some of you are probably thinking, I know how that's done. All the strings are joined up in the middle. But if they were, I wouldn't be able to do this. And I definitely wouldn't be able to do this. There is one trick that is possibly the most famous con trick in the world, and it's called Find the Lady and it really is the con man's favourite way to try and trick you out of your money. Well, I've come along to Greenwich Market to show you exactly what they get up to and how you can beat the cheat. Right, we've got five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see that there is only one picture card in the middle, the queen. She's the lady of the cards, OK? And what you need to try and do is find the lady. And all I'm going to do is turn the cards over like this, OK? And who's going to, who thinks they can do it? Oh, quite a few of you. OK, well, you take the peg. That's it. I'll show you again. There she is. OK, there she is. So where is they? Just clip, clip it on. Great stuff. OK, you can let go now. Do you want to change your mind? No. No? Do you think she's right? You do? Right. Who thinks they can do it now? Oh, oh you challenge. think you right? Yeah. Okay, a challenge. Yes, it is a challenge. You stand here for me. Right. There's the queen. See the queen. Right. I'm gonna turn them over. Clip it where you think the queen is. Oh, you think there? Uh, a bit way off there. Let's use this man just here. Okay, if you step forward for us. That's it. Have a look at the cards. You can see them just there. Just keep your eye on all five of them. I'm going to turn them over. Oh. Now, they think they've got a chance of finding the Queen. But as easy as it looks, they have no chance at all. OK, have a look. There really are just five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And the Queen is in the middle just there. So if I were to take the little clip, and clip it on 
just the middle card, then yes, I would have found the queen, like that. But because this is a natural optical illusion, it means that 99% of people that try it will get it wrong. You see, when all the cards are held together and you put the clip on just the middle card, you're actually also clipping the end card. So when the cheat turns the cards over, it looks like you've got it completely wrong. This is brilliant. And now you know the secret, you can beat the cheat. <laughs>showed you the vanishing coin trick well in just a second I'm gonna show you how to do it but first I'm gonna do the trick again but just for you have a look you can see the coin is there I cover up the glass with the napkin like this and then cover up the coin and snap my fingers and the coin melts away and just disappears <laughs> it is such a good trick isn't it but have a close look you see although you can't see the coin it Actually, it's still there. Can you see it, Keith? Do you believe it's still there? <laughs> well, let me show you. Look. Look. Now you see it. Now you don't. Now you see it. Now you don't. Now you see it. Now you don't. So how does it work? Well, let me show you. You see, stuck to the rim of the glass, we've glued an extra piece of material that's exactly the same as the surface we're working on. So when the glass covers the coin it looks as though the coin has disappeared now if you want to make one of these and i think you should because it will fool your friends get a piece of material you must make sure the material is plain otherwise it'll blow the trick uh, stick the rim of the glass down with glue and then trim around it to neaten it up and then use the rest of the material to do the trick on then you're ready to go and once you have made the trick you can use it to make other small objects disappear. And here is a tricky tip for you. Never lift up the glass without the napkin, otherwise your friends will see exactly how the trick works. Now, once you've mastered the trick and you've made it, here's an idea. Why don't you make two? Here's why, have a look. See the 50p? I'm gonna make the 50p disappear from this glass like this it's gone and then you say to your friends it's gone from this glass but now I'm gonna make it appear on this side watch and reveal the 50 it's a good idea isn't it so now you know the secret why not fool your friends because you are now in the secret zone nearly it for now but have a look at some of the best and worst moments of this series <laughs> have a look up there <laughs> what are the chances of that it is massive
they're going to make it vanish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Completely vanished. Oh, no! <laughs> All you've got to do is keep drawing the paint, because well, now you see it... Now you... <laughs> Quick! Genius! <laughs> Miss Willoughby, drop it! You're gone! <laughs> Onza, Tabby. Ah! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Lovely. Here <you> go. <laughs> 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 Well, that's it for the time being. I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. I've certainly enjoyed making it. And I will see you very soon for some more Tricky TV. Tricky TV. <laughs>